I love all of these shows so much, it's not even funny. Hello guys, it's Hannah, and today I am going to be filming a video that I've been planning on filming for like three months at this point, and I'm so excited to finally have my list completed because I'm gonna give you, get, I'm gonna be giving you guys my top Netflix recommendations. I tried to get ones that were somewhat like underrated and not talked about that much, so I'm not gonna be recommending you guys Riverdale, first of all, because it's horrible, but also because um, everybody knows it exists, like there's literally no point of me recommending you stuff that like is already overhyped on the internet. Sorry to all the Riverdale fans, please do not attack me. All of these, but one of them are Netflix originals, so they're all unique to Netflix and you can't watch them on like Hulu or whatever the other streaming services are. Let's get started. First one we're gonna start off with is the most recent one and I think probably the most popular one and that is Sex Education. I watched this when it wasn't that popular yet and I think over the past like couple of days it's really been blowing up and I feel like I see so many interviews coming out but it's an amazing show. I absolutely loved it. But basically the show is about a kid who is played by Asa Butterfield, an actor that I feel like has been growing a lot recently. He's in like a lot of shows, you'll probably recognize him. His mom is a sex therapist and he basically decides that he's gonna use the knowledge that he learned from her and start doing like a clinic at his school and um, they start therapy sessions for a bunch of different couples and explore different like sex issues and like really start the conversation about um, what sex is actually like. But also between that there's a bunch of different plot lines like him falling in love with someone and you know that not working out and like all this other stuff so that's basically what the show's about. Also first scene of this show looks a little bit like porn but I promise you just power through it and it's not like that all the way through. <laughs> Overall, amazing show. Go watch it. Second show that I would recommend to you guys is the show called The Sinner. I don't even know how to explain this show. Okay, so I'm an idiot. Basically, I thought that I'd watched the first season of the show, but turns out I actually watched the second season, and that's the plot that I'm explaining in this video. So just don't mind that, and when you start the show, just know the plot is going to be slightly different. I'm just stupid. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> it took me a while to get into it, but basically it's about this kid who gets caught murdering these two people and um, it follows as the detectives try to figure out why he did it and it leads into a storyline about a cult. And it kind of talks about the effect that that has on the kid and it just... I don't know. I thought it was really interesting. I read a book about a cult a couple months ago and I thought that was really interesting as well. I don't know why. I think that topic is just fun to learn about. <laughs> but yeah, that's a really good show if you're into more mysterious stuff. Sure, sure, sure show. <laughs> Third show that I have for you guys is a show called Atypical. This show is really unique because of the main character who is autistic and it follows him as he goes through senior year. The first season is all about him trying to find a girlfriend and then the second season kind of broadens out a little bit and talks about some of the other issues that are introduced in the first season. I don't really know that much about autism but I do think that the show explored it really really well and it gave the kids perspective in a very like respectful way. It's funny, it's endearing, it's raw, I don't know, it's just a really good show. Show number four is Mindhunter. I have only watched a couple episodes of this but I love it so far. I used to be obsessed with Criminal Minds and this kind of follows a similar concept by exploring um, the like psychological aspect of criminology. It's already won like a bunch of awards and stuff that just tells you. It's about these two FBI agents who get assigned the task of teaching other police officers on how to handle situations where there's somebody that has mental issues I guess you could say or like psychological problems. But at the same time, they meet other serial killers, and it's just really good. But other than the plotline, I also just really like the actors in the show. I just think they're really good, and it's definitely worth watching. Another top recommendation. The next show is the one that's not a Netflix original, and that's Don't Trust the Bee in Apartment 23. I think this is a sitcom. Is it a sitcom? No. The show's quite old, and it only has two seasons. I don't know why it got cancelled so early, because it's 
really really funny um but it's one of those shows where the episodes are only like 20 minutes long so it's really easy to get through the show really quickly it's about this girl who moves to new york and she basically is like the super goody two-shoes girl who um finds this roommate through craigslist and the roommate is absolutely insane but um it like contrasts both their personalities in a comedic way i'm just obsessed with the show this show is so underrated literally nobody ever talks about it but it's so good so here i am spreading the word this next show is so fucking good oh my god <laughs> Second to last show is American Vandal. It's another comedy and it is hilarious. In the show, somebody decided to pull a prank and spray paint a bunch of dicks on teachers' cars and the entire school is convinced it's this one student, but he didn't actually do it and in kind of like a documentary style series, they try to figure out who actually did it. And then the second season is a different prank and kind of the same idea. I laughed my ass off watching this show. I promise you, if you watch like the first 20 minutes of the first episode, you will be hooked right away. And finally, I saved the best show for last. Oh my god, this is the best show I've ever watched in my life. Oh my god, my nose is like stuffed. Ugh. On Netflix, the name is listed as Money Heist. It is actually a Spanish show though, and the original name is La Casa de Papel. I said that name horribly. It kind of reminds me of like the Ocean's 8 movies, but in show form because a bunch of robbers get together and they are trying to rob a bank but the guy that planned the entire thing is super super smart and he has all these tricks up his sleeve about how they're tricking the police and how they're gonna do certain things and get away with everything that they're planning and it just keeps you on your toes the entire time so so good oh, oh my god and that is it for my recommendations hopefully i mentioned a couple shows in there that you haven't watched and let me know if there are any that you start because of this video. I've low-key been wanting to get bangs for the last couple of weeks. Let me know if I should because I'm interested and I'm bored of my hair. Eee! I love you all to the moon and back and I will see you in my next video. Bye! I know it might